Right, let's get on with this thing then. So this is the front now, the back you've just seen in the previous video, these plates, which as you can see, are looking pretty fine. That's great, great to have that there. That's ready for the ribbon, which you know. This side, these have been flattened down. They're not brilliant, but they're old hinges and I've, I've done what I can. You know I made some of those. If you're not, if you don't know, I've made these in a previous video. Uh, to match with um, these here. So what we're going to do today is um, I've done the drawings for these. I'm going to start cutting the timber up for this door. So this is the sliding door that comes out the top here that allows that allows the um, the light through the lens to hit the glass plate that's hidden inside there. So timber's already on the saw. Um, I've got this timber and it's got this little bit of round left on it. This is the handrail mahogany that I've got. So I'm just going to cut that off and then I'm going to trim that off. Then I'm going to start cutting them to length. I'll leave a couple of mil over, not much. Uh, and I've got that piece as well. So hopefully I can do it with just these two pieces. Grab yourself a coffee or tea and um, let's get on with this thing, shall we? Ah, this thing. Let me put that down quickly. And that can fit in there. Put that to lift. Same thing. So here we have the basic components, uh, as per board over there, grain direction correct. So this is my middle panel, that will be my middle panel. Um, then, so I will fix these together first, then I will add those two, then I will add that one, then that one, and then these two. Ready to start channeling some, um, some grooves in there to start fixing these things together. Top rail, middle section, both sides, all of them got to have this uh, loose tongue again. Um, and down the bottom, I've just got enough, look, I've just got enough to do it. These two are the funny two that hinge, so they're not actually jointed properly. So, yeah, there's a bit to do. What have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine components. I've also set up the router 
so the router's set up to do that. And I have to put this strip in the bottom because the, the timber's so thin that um, I don't want it to get interfere with the bear, bearing at all. So it has to, um, by um, using this thin piece of wood, it means that the bottom is touching that and there's less chance of this jerking and moving around. So yeah, that's it. I'm not going to do any more for today. That's all I've got time for. I've got to get back. Today's a Sunday and I've got to sort some other stuff out. I'm going to start moving these things out of the way. And what we're going to start looking at is the joints between each piece. Bear in mind, they've only been through the source and nothing's been plain. But I just want to show you thing, how I look at a piece of timber and how I work out um, the planing and whatever. And what this has got something interesting about it. Watch this. See that? If I squeeze that in really tight, um, I think it's got a little bit of snipe on the end of one of these. So... I'll plane those two edges first and uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So that's that one done. Next, let's pull this one in. So you can see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mark each piece so that I know how it's fitting. Look at this. See the gap there? Look at that gap there. So I will just run the plane over both of them. It looks like it's this one actually. Take a bit off the middle. So the good thing about having the plane in here is I can see that there's a belly on this touching the blade so I can just start the cut there, finish it there. And then run all the way down. There you go, that should do it. And that. It might have a bit on there, so I'll just take that one. One, two, three. It's not much. It's all it needs. Brilliant. Brilliant. Those two are done. And these go on to the ends of there and there. <coughs> So I'll start marking those up as well. So let's just go um, through that side actually. Let's just go one, two there, one there, one, two there. And this one, one, two, three there, one, two there. There's two over here, so I'll go one, two, three, four there. That'll do. I'll be able to find those. Well, I had this last time where the um, where the uh, the tongue was a little bit deeper. See that one's gone right. What different batch? That just needs to be a bit thinner. Let's take that down a bit. Can you see that?
<laughs> I've got it the wrong way around. I put those marks on there and I still got it the wrong way around. Let's put this the right way around. There we go. Nice. Right, let's grab some glue. There we go. So all I'm going to do is just put a weight on each corner, just slightly put some pressure on the crumb. Take the pressure off, put it back on, just a little bit of pressure. I just want to make sure that all four corners are flat. I can undo the crown, tighten it up with just a little bit of pressure, undo the crown, all that weight on there, tighten it up, a little bit of pressure. And we're back. And let's just see what's going on. So it's had uh, a bit more than 24 hours to dry. No, yeah, a bit more than 24 hours. Uh, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So next thing to do is to uh, trim off these ends and put on the other two ends. So let's do that. Must drink tea. There you go, so trimmed off the excess, put it over there, can you guys see if I put it over there? Yeah, yeah you are. There's a big lump of glue there. So the last time it was used, it was taken off a fair bit. So I'm just reducing the cut. One, two, three. One, two, three. I will put this in the um, on the shooting board in there and shoot it so that it's marrying up. So this is just to get the excess glue off. That lump isn't going to come off, but that corner might be a bit wobbly. Lovely squeaking noise, sorry about that. Little tiny gap just there, that's okay. 
All right, let's square it up on here. Can you see all right? So let's go down there. I'll come over this way. There's a bit to take off to get it square. Quite a bit. That's okay. I've allowed a couple of mil anyhow, so looking good. Looking very good. Can you see that? I think you can. Okay, I'm going to keep on that front edge, twist it like that, blow everything off, put it back on. Yeah, there's a bit to take off for this. Let me just knock that edge off, that corner off. So that it doesn't split out at the end. Still a fair bit to take off. Don't think it will affect it. Take it off. Double check it in a bit. How cool is that? Right. What's next? Try these ends on. Oh, nice. That'll be great. Tidy already. I'm just going to run the plane down there. So I'm not worried about square really on this now, I just want this straight. So I'm going to push it against the bottom of the plane and then just tool it. Smashing. You can see these are slightly twisted. Do you remember the problem with the twist before? Yeah. All these little ends. This I, I couldn't. If I'd have straightened this panel out, I probably wouldn't have ended up with anywhere near as much timber. Otherwise, so it's it was a it's a bit of a gamble, but it's all going to be contained in within the within the um, camera. So it'll be right. right. This is looking really good. Okay, great. So, face up, need to do some routing. Do you need to see that again? Do you want to see that again? I'm over there. There you go. All right, get some more glue in done. Uh, I'm just going to double check the width. Hello. Hello, 
Right, I've got on the board that it's 383 three across here. I'm just going to double check. Forever double checking. Uh, do I need to? Probably not. It might be easier to just put that on there, that there, and see what I've got to play. I've got loads. I think I've got 10 mil wider than I need. Bearing in mind it's got to go in here and it's got to go in there as well. So I think I'm 10 mil wider. 10 mil wider is great. So there you go. I can glue those up. I'll move them over here. Let's move you over there as well. Well, I glued the last one up with you watching me, and um, I don't know whether you've watched that Gandolfi. I don't know whether you've watched that Gandolfi um, YouTube clip, but he does a he does a bit where um, he he puts them together, and then he, he on, he's on about his labour saving, and he said always glue two up labour saving, and um, I, I get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try, bearing in mind, I'll probably never have to do this like this again. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push that in there one way, take it out and turn it around the other way. So that's giving it a quick show to the, uh, to the glue. Um, so if there's any voids by moving it around the other way, it, uh, it could fill the voids. So drop it in there, wobble it, take it out, turn it around drop it back in there. And I remember him holding them at an angle, something like that. Um, it's hard to know where to put the glue because you want the glue over everything and really, you want the glue up here because you want the tongue to be, to have, um, to be wet with the glue, um, but you also want it to squeeze down onto these, onto these shoulders. Uh, so that the mahogany is gluing to the mahogany. And actually, I think if you, if you actually look at that, that's much quicker than before. So, And then I'll just slide that that way. I haven't got a bench to wipe my finger on. I normally wipe my, bad habit, normally wipe my finger on the edge of the bench. And then every now and then I um, go over the end of the bench with a chisel. So yeah, you can see where I've put it there. Uh, is that better? Is that right? So that goes down there. So look at that. It's going straight into there. It's doing that. And if I do this look, it's going right onto that edge as well. So this is uh, good old Gandolf Gandolfi. This this is great. So I've done two at the same time. Not too much squeeze out. Um, I still feel the urge to put some in here. Um, it looks pretty good on there, but I feel the urge to just... I'd rather have too much glue than not enough. It's just, you know, just me being a bit cautious, just making sure that... Right, let's put this thing together. So, uh, two, two, one, two, that goes that side. Three, two, four, goes this side. Drop that in there. Nice, glue oozing out, that's great to see. Let's drop that in there. That glue up was much quicker. Sorry you had to sit through the rest, but it just shows the efficiencies then, doesn't it? So, that can go there. Big blob of glue there. Not worried about that. Let's put some, let's put some cramps across that. Let's put those there. I don't really like having these on here, but they're um, on the full mic. But they're necessary, so they need to be at hand because there's no one me here. So put that there, put the pin in, tighten that up. And I'm just getting it ready. So what I'm looking for now is that top edge. I want a nice, that looks great. It doesn't matter about the bottom edges, I'll get pained. 
So I'm looking at the top edge being correct. Um, I think I'm ready to start putting some timber. So I think I'm going to do it slightly different. Just give me a second and I will go and get some. I think it might be better with these. These are still just as long, but if I can put those there and there, I haven't thought this through properly. They need to be the same height. Okay, so those two are the same height. If I put one over that joint and one near the end of there and then put some weight on it, that's really good. Um, those two are similar size. So if I put one over that joint and one there and some weight on it, that's great. Now I'm just going to pull, uh, put some tension on it, tighten the cramp a little bit. This is coming apart a little bit, so that's probably a bit too much, so that'll do. Sort out some more of these. Which ones are which ones are equal? Those two are. So let's put that one there. Let me just put the cramp on this one. That's going pretty good this side. This one, it's the thing, it, that's that's the reason why things usually go so well when you've had a, a go at it previously. This side is going much better. This, um, I'm just going to take that excess glue off there and then I'm going to work it on the bench and I'm going to put a block on there. So by removing the excess glue it's stopping me from it's stopping me from gluing it to it. But that's gone together really good. So it needs some weight over here now, so I'll just take that excess off there. Uh, those, those two are similar size. So that can go there, that can go there. Another block there. So, just going to look around under here and make sure that I'm happy that it's down and what difference the cramp is making. So do you remember before when I, when I said be careful with cramping because it can lift it up? Well actually the cramping is, uh, is not lifting it up. It's a, it, it needs a bit more weight. And there you go. So I'll put some in the opposite corner because it's bound to be the opposite corner is lifting as well. I'm just going to take the cramp away. It's all sitting flat on the bit, on the table, so that's great. Bit of pressure. I could put a cramp in the middle, shall I? Do I need to? That's sitting nicely. That's sitting lovely. Do I need to? No. Am I going to? No. Why not? Just unwind this a bit. And I'm only applying a little bit of pressure, not much. Looks great, looks great. This is a good idea of having these two legs on these pieces. We know the mahogany is twisted. Now it's a uh, it's one of those things, and if I'd have if I'd have straightened it all out, I'd probably only had a, I'd have probably only had um, seventy percent of the timber I've got. So I'm not wasting my hobby. It's easier to get the twists out. Right, that's it for now. That's it for now. Do you want to have a quick look? And um, so that's what we've got. Um, you can see down there it's tight on there you can't really see sorry but anyhow all that weight I know there's something going on diagonally so that's that's good I'm happy with that and don't forget the next one will have a groove all the way across here so if this is doing anything 
those two, these sides here, these top and bottom, will sort the next problem out. So, back in a bit.